Hey, what's good? It's Iconic. Welcome back, guys, to Fallout 4. It's episode 57. So, we are in the Institute, and I'm guessing it's I gotta go to meet the itself. crew. Go meet the crew, just like how every time I find a new organization, I always meet the whole crew. And I gotta go see that one dude from the Bioscience, because I gotta go talk to him. I gotta get, I gotta get Virgil's little serum that he wanted me to get him give him so i gotta do that for him my boy he's been helping me out so i'm gonna take these stim packs i'm like this dirty ass dude in power armor and shit coming up under this clean ass place it's kind of funny to be honest it's just kind of funny oh sean's terminal password i right, i'm gonna take shit i'm gonna take that unlock with Sean, I'm looking. I'm looking this terminal. What to see? What the hell's in here? Kellogg's Conrad enhanced life expectancy. Expectancy. What the hell? Okay, so this first, I just finished reading it. He talked about how Kellogg is a fucking cyborg, and Kellogg has been living for like what a hundred. It says it had an estimate like he was like a hundred. He was more than 100 years old. And he was the uh, living testimony or something like that to the Institute. And he is the oldest person that is alive in the Commonwealth. It, okay, if Sean... It doesn't make any sense. See? So, yeah, yeah, he, he might be old. He probably could have captured Sean when he was like... It kind of makes sense why Kellogg hasn't aged a bit when he got Sean out of the little uh, cryopod. But I don't know. I still want to disbelieve that it's not Sean. The father is not Sean. I, I'm not really sure, but it makes a lot of sense, though. So in this one, it just talks about Kellogg dying and this um, person, the person knows Kellogg dying. And they kind of he kind of looked at Kellogg as a tool. <laughs> Which was kind of messed up. <laughs> I don't know. The Institute is pretty messed up. But uh, let me check this one. Wait. Director Sith Sun shut down. What does that do? Hold on. Hold on. I'm going to load the hollow tape in here. The network scanner. Okay. So that doesn't do anything. All right. Let's just fucking go what we're supposed to do i don't know who the first person we're gonna go see but i'm gonna come in this room i don't know whoa look at this a synth damn their costume looks pretty nice i just want to kill them and take that costume it looks very tight another kid look at this room dude this is actually a pretty nice place I all the surface people look like monsters. alice thompson but you seem pretty normal alice thompson what the fuck Oh, it's a courser. He got the costume and everything. Primary drive server. So the first person I'm going to talk to is Abby hey, Fillmore. I don't know. Doctor. They really are Most of them have lasted well, long right. past their projective I'm lifespans. Alan. If you ask me, you can think you of me as the Institute's well. chief engineer. When Father told us about you, I could hardly believe it. You've been through so much. I think most people would have just given up. If you don't mind my asking, what was it that kept you going all that time? I'll, I'm just gonna say find my son because that kind of was the truth and maybe avenge my wife But I'm gonna say find my son. I just wanted to find my son and keep him safe now that you've found him I hope you're proud of the great man. He grew up to be Mac I'll give you a quick rundown of the facilities division and then I'll answer any questions you might have afterward as you might guess We keep the Institute's mechanical and electrical systems running smoothly we maintain and upgrade all of the systems that make it possible to live and work in a place like this. There's a lot of machinery behind these walls that recycles the air and water and provides power to the laboratories and quarters. The work we do might not be as exciting as some of the other departments, but it's at least as important. So, now that you're here and you've spoken to Father, does that mean you're on board? I'm just gonna say just looking. I'm just looking around. I see. Well, please do mind what you touch. Sensitive equipment here, not like topside. If there's anything else you'd like to know about the facilities division, I'm happy to discuss it. 
I'm good for now. I don't really want to talk about it. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. I can actually get to know some stuff. Hold on, hold on. Alec. What do you need? Unit, you can return. Um. I'm gonna say po power needs. It must be a challenge to meet the power demands of a place like this. Absolutely. We scratch and scrape for every precious ounce of voltage that we can. Over the years, we've learned a few tricks that help supplement our power budget. When necessary, we can tap into select sources on the surface. We take only what we need, of course. Fortunately, Advanced Systems is always working on new solutions to generate more energy. It's a good thing, too, because the demand is always increasing. <laughs> you don't even want to know what a single use of the molecular dematerializer consumes. Okay, whatever. All right, she's kind of a weird, strange lady, but <laughs> um, let's go find our next person. Synth reintegration. All right. Power armor in here. Move, damn it! Move, Urgh. move. Institute Courser. I would like to fight another Courser again. It'd be very nice. I'm interrupting something. My methods get results, and they will this time as well. You'll see. I know it'll be a difficult adjustment for you. Duh. Try to remember so, that synths aren't people. Here you are. Justin Ayo, acting director of the Synth Retention Bureau. I'll be upfront with you. We're going to be keeping a close eye on you for the near future. Despite your relation to father, you're a bit of an unknown quantity. I'm sure you understand. There won't be any issues, will there? I guess we'll find out. Indeed. Now, Father has asked that I provide you with a brief overview of the Synth Retention Bureau. Our primary responsibility is the recovery of escaped synths that are hiding among the human population on the surface. I'm gonna say, let them go. If the synths want to be free, you should let them. Synths do not want. They might look like human beings, but they're machines. As to why they're escaping, that matter is currently under investigation. Our main instrument is the Courser, a third-generation synth assigned to operate on the surface. Coursers hunt down and reclaim synths that have escaped the Institute. They are highly self-sufficient, trained in combat, infiltration, and tracking. In a word, our Coursers are relentless. But I gather you know all this, since you've encountered one already. In fact, I'd very much like to know how you defeated it. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say I got lucky. <laughs> Because I had Paladin dance with me, so it was pretty easy. I guess I just got lucky. That's hardly helpful. <sighs> That's the whole point. Ask robotics to perform detailed diagnostics on the entire production run. As if we don't have enough workers. Now, unless you need something else, I'll get back to work. Courses training. Reclamation process. Reclamation. Reclamation process, my bad. You mentioned that coursers undergo special training. Tell me more about it. The SRB constantly monitors our Gen 3 synth population, looking for specific traits. Those who show tenacity, fearlessness, and independence undergo a rigorous training regimen. We teach them armed and unarmed combat, investigative techniques, psychology, and mechanical skills. Those who pass a final evaluation become coursers. The rest have their memories wiped and return to their former duties. Oh, be careful. Like Nick Valentine, he gets his shit. He got his shit wiped off. Okay, let's go back to. Let's go find our other guy. Advanced systems. Let's see who's in here. What the fuck is going on? What the hell? <laughs> oh shit. Hi, Doc. Hmm? Oh, hi. What the hell are you Sorry doing? Sorry, I seem distracted. I memorized five sets of design schematics, and now I'm doing detailed mental comparisons. What kinds of blueprints? Mostly components for a new plasma pistol concept I've been toying with. High energy weapons are sort of a hobby of mine. Anyway, I'm glad you're here. I just wanted to say how much I admire Father, and that it's an honor to meet you. I really hope you'll stay here with us. Cool. But that's not the person I want to talk to. It's you that I want to talk to, Dr. Madison Lee. Lee. Oh, yes. Dear. You're not authorized to be here. My bad. I dropped something. I'm new. I'm gonna say. I'm new around here. You must think I'm some kind of idiot. 
father may have given you the keys the fuck to the was castle, that? but I still decide who goes in and who goes out of my laboratory. So why don't you just run along and let me get back to work? I'm be sarcastic. Is this how you treat everyone? Or are you just putting on the charm for me? Hmm. I wasn't aware that I had to answer to you at all. You're obviously here for a reason, and you've already spoiled my experiment, so you might as well spit it out. Uh, I'll send you to find you. I'm say sent by the Brotherhood. You're the scientist. Why do you think I'm here? Well, let's see. A Brotherhood of Steel airship arrives in the Commonwealth. You find a way to intercept our teleport signal, and now you show up at my door. I knew it was just a matter of time before your people would track me down. I've been looking over my shoulder for almost a decade, waiting for them to send someone like you to kill me. I'm going to say good intentions because it is. I'm only here with good intentions. You have my word. You're giving me your word, even though we just met? Fine. Hmm. Since father trusts you, I'm going to give you the benefit of the doubt. I might not agree with everything he says, but I know he'd never allow harm to come my way. Say what you came here to say, and then leave me alone. The Brotherhood wants you back. You should return to the Brotherhood. Even if I wanted to return to them, why would they want me back? Having problems. Brotherhood values him. Did you abandon any projects you wanted to complete? You should know better than to ask me that. If they didn't tell you what I was working on, they didn't want you to know. I'm certainly not going to put my neck on the line and spread their dirty little secrets. Tell me something. Why would I possibly want to come crawling back to the Brotherhood? What reason would I have to throw away everything I've accomplished here? Damn. I'm gonna say trust me. Father trusts me. And so should you. You're wasting your breath. Fuck. I'm a scientist, not a soldier. The Brotherhood desired my creations in order to destroy, to take control. I'm not interested in returning to that way of life. Uh, I'm, I'm going to keep asking questions because I feel like I can't really be straightforward. And I'm saying if I say I'm following orders... I'm gonna look dumb as shit. Why am I smiling? Why is my character smiling? What the fuck? I give up. What would it take to convince you? All right, I'll play your game. I had a colleague down here, a Dr. Virgil. Several months ago, there was an accident in his lab, and he was killed. I wanted to help with the investigation, but Father had the laboratory sealed, saying that it was contaminated. The incident never sat right with me. The more I asked about it, the more I felt like Father was deflecting my questions. If you bring me solid information on what killed him, I'll take it as a favor from the Brotherhood and consider your offer. Do we have a deal? I'm going to say, should I tell him? Virgil still, I'm going to tell, tell her. Because if I'm going to say whatever to convince her to come to the Brotherhood, she can't really backstab me and stay with the Institute. I know this may come as a shock, but... Dr. Virgil is still alive. I met him myself. Oh, please. Do you really think a cheap tactic like that is going to work on someone like me? Stop trying to avoid the legwork by lying. Either you get me the evidence or we have nothing else to talk about. Deal? Are there any other options? That's my offer. Take it or leave it. Deal. All right. Dr. Virgil's lab was in the Biosciences Division. I can give you a code that will get you into the section, but the lab itself has been sealed, so you'll have to breach it on your own. I'd tell you to be quiet about it, but your brotherhood and discretion isn't exactly your strong suit. And finally, if you get caught, we never had this conversation. Now, for the sake of keeping up appearances, let me see that pit boy of yours. I've been told to install a coarser chip in it for you. Father's orders. You're to be given full access with the ability to relay in and out of the Institute at will. Thank you. I'm sure that'll come in handy. Given that the relay is the only way to access the Institute, handy is something of an understatement. In case the significance is lost on you, you'll be the only one here with that kind of access. 
If nothing else, it should demonstrate the amount of trust Father has placed in you. Speaking of, I trust our discussion will remain between the two of us. Now, I need to get back to work, and I'm sure you have other things to do. Indeed. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. I can teleport in and out as long as I want. That's, that's tight. That's tight. And let's go. Man, we got to go help him, my bro. So, guys, I'm going to end off the episode here. So, if you guys enjoyed it, hit the like button below. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me at Twitch at VKY Iconic. And until then, you already know what it is. Thank you all for watching. Peace out.